All right, what's up guys? Not much, MR2 updates. Engine is in. Ah, K-Series, K-Series. All right, engine's in. One fuel tank is mounted. Two fuel tank is not mounted. Intercooler is not mounted, nor is the trunk cut out. So um, I guess what we're gonna do this time is we need to mount the other fuel tank on this side. I kind of just, I, I was gonna film this one, but I was just kind of playing around with it. I really wasn't sure how I was gonna mount it, but it's in there solid, not going anywhere. Built the bracketry for the bottom of that. Um, looks good, to be honest with you. You know, we can pop the gas tank out, put our gas in, looks good. All right, but yeah, we still got to make fuel lines. Um, I just ordered all that stuff today, like fuel pumps, fuel lines, E85 lines, fittings, everything to run up to the rail, regulator, all that stuff. So that's all ordered. Um, that's in the mail right now, so that probably won't be here anytime soon. But what we can do is we can get the floor cut out in the trunk. I guess this is official. We are finally cutting stuff up. This is like a no return. Once you cut the trunk out, it's gone. Um, we're going to mount the fuel tank over here. And then I guess try to figure stuff out. We picked up, um, let's see, what else? Yeah, we got our, I got an intercooler here. Um, four inch thick. This is a big intercooler right here. Ooh, look how thick this bad boy is. Four inch thick intercooler, um, twin side. So both come in, both come out. Um, should be good. Um, we're gonna lay this in here. The only thing I've, I've measured some stuff out We're gonna have some problems on this side like getting the piping through here um, Not sure how we're gonna do everything yet because once again have have I ever put a k-series in an MR2? No, so you know have I ever put an intercooler in the trunk in an MR2? No, so this is first time for me first time for you first time for everybody So we're kind of just winging it as we go. I'm gonna drop the intercooler in here and then um I guess I'll show you guys the other stuff, so give me a second. All right, so intercooler's in. As I said before, um, everybody said if you put the fuel tanks in the back, they're gonna block the flow of the intercooler, but I mean, realistically, the only part that this is technically blocking is just this little edge right here if you wanna get technical. Um, but that's it, other than that, the other tank should sit right over here. Shouldn't block the intercooler flow. We'll probably put some fans on this or something like that. Um, the only problem is we gotta get Cause like the turbo is gonna sit like here and then we gotta get the intercooler piping like here and then we gotta get the other intercooler piping up to like the um, intake manifold. So this is a problem now because how the hell am I gonna get a pipe down here? So we might do some, I don't know, some type of jinky intercooler welding. I might weld this tied up and get this cut out or something or maybe make a U-turn or something to get over here, come in there. I'm not really too sure yet. So, I mean, once again, this is garage fab, not any, you know, everybody says, well, your car's, your MR2 is gonna come out sick because you have like a shop welding it up, you know, you have access to all this welding and all this stuff and no, 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 no. Okay, see, this right here, done in the garage, come on over here. See, you go to your local, local hardware store, get some bolts, get some, you know, get some aluminum, Get some metal, cut some stuff up, and you're, oh, well, you have access to all this stuff. Well, bro, this is done right here in the garage floor, hacksaw and a drill and some hand tools. That's it. <laughs> no, no lathe, <laughs> no, no cool parts, no nothing like that. Anybody can do this. This is garage fab. You can do it. That's the reason I built this car over here. This, you can do this all here. Nothing is custom done, nothing custom welded. Everything garage fab. So we already made our bottom half right here. And then I guess let's go ahead and we're gonna get the next stuff going. And we're gonna go ahead and uh, <sighs> guess the point of no return, we're gonna cut this out. So let's go ahead and get this other fuel tank in, make some brackets for that. And then uh, what I'm gonna do is probably just trace this with a marker, pull this out and then start cutting. <sighs> All right, so I guess we are at the point of no return now. We already have our scribe line in here of where we're going to cut. So I guess we're going to go ahead and cut the trunk out now. So I guess if we cut wrong, we are eventually kind of screwed. So I'm going to move this line in a little bit just in case I can go farther later. But I don't want to cut too far because the thing about this is kind of once you cut, it's kind of the trunk is kind of gone forever at this point. So 
All right, I guess we'll go ahead and cut this out. All right. All right, so got the intercooler just sitting up here. I just used the jack just to hold it in place, but this is where it should sit. Um, looks good. I like how it sits in there. A little off, but you know, cut could be better. But that's not bad. We got our fuel tanks in. Got got our intercooler in. That's cut out. Um, we still got to cut the pipes through. I don't know how I'm gonna do it yet, but this is just you know we're all just preliminary. This is not nothing final, but at least we're you know we're getting in there. But got our tanks in. Everything's mounted in. That's good. That's good. <sighs> Guys, I'm tired. Looks good for now. Not bad. I guess the next thing we need to figure out is. I guess where we're going to run the intercooler pipings and then we got to get the exhaust through here too. So we'll probably go ahead and mount some fans on that too because that'll look good. But but yeah, so what we're going to do now is just build some brackets. Um, went up to the hardware store, got some cheap, um, just some cheap little angle pieces to make and some straights. So what I'm going to try to do is maybe use like an L-shaped bracket here to bump out, bolt that to there and then maybe some brackets to bolt those in the back because this intercooler only has four spots. I don't know if you guys can see that down there. Yeah, there's a little spot right there to weld on. So that's only that's the only bung I have. So I only have four. There's one, two, three, four, and I'm gonna try to mount it up with that. We'll see how that does. Um, the intercooler did come with two more, so if I feel it's not as sturdy, I can weld on another one in the middle, and then we'll go from there and weld those on too. So, got the brackets. Um, and two, this is another thing. Like, I don't even have a vice. This is. Cheap engineering right here. Just use the crash bar on the car. Nice and strong. You can get a good good spot here. You just use a factory bolt that was already included. Mount that on and let's go ahead and uh, let's cut these brackets out. See how that works out. And then let's go ahead and see where everything lines up and we'll go ahead and start mounting this in. So all right, let's get to it. All right, so we got our hardware cut out. Had to cut the ends on both of these to make them a little bit smaller. Had to cut these down a little bit. They were too long. But as you can see, intercooler is in. That's our hole. So what I'm going to try to do is mount this with the straights up here somewhere. On the inside though, not on the outside. And then for the front, can you see around there? Yep, I'm going to mount that to that up there. So we'll see how that works. Not sure. Hopefully we can line everything up. Good thing is though, we got it on the jack stand so we can spin it. And two, it's protected by cardboard on the back so we're not going to mess our fins up. But it should be good. We'll try to figure out, I guess, the best centering location. Try to figure out, drill some holes, pop it in. Let's see what we got. So let's keep it rolling. Alright guys, it's late as hell. Took a little bit longer to drill these holes. Got two back here. Two over there. Two up there, two up there. In there mount it, shouldn't have any issues. Um, we still gotta drill our holes over here for the intercooler piping, we'll figure that out. Um, I'm pretty sure I got enough room to do it, it's just as far as, you know, how does it look. But, not bad. Uh, let's go over here. Uh, yep, so as you can see, we got plenty of room to come out, we'll probably just 90 up we'll come through there um well, yep looks good mount it got that in there good and then we got the back can you see it in there yep right there right there you won't see any of this because right here the bumper starts so you won't even see that under there but other than that fuel tanks i mean the what is this the intercoolers mount it and we are ready to go you can't even really see it from the back. That's the good thing too. So when I put the bumper on, you might see this because this is kind of reflective. I don't know. We might paint it black or something. But intercooler's in. I guess, uh, I don't know. We'll get some intercooler piping and probably try to figure this out. Um, next, we might be working on that thing. That thing where the snail sits so all right guys next video probably get working on that stuff might cut this out not sure yet but i guess we'll figure it out but looks good from here put a fan on there or something maybe two fans i don't know yet we'll figure it out but all right guys later